Hello everyone and welcome back to our continued buying Let's Play Bravely Default HD up by Mod. My name is the Flightless Bear. This is your Story Based Gaming Channel, and today, today we continue on in World Number Something. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, World Number Something, and yeah. So let's not waste any time. We got a couple more side quests to do, and then we got the crystals. Let's do it. Just as cold as before. Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today as we enter the vampire castle. And just as before, I'm going to click on the paintings and then put some cuts in between the paintings. It is the same portrait as before, and just as big. Right. And what a beauty his mother was. The same description, too. Lester, eldest son of the House of De Rosso, future clergyman of the Crystal Adventists and Cardinal of the Crystal Orthodoxy. Born in the land of Eternia on a cold winter's day. It seems a struggle between the old faith and the Orthodoxy arose here in this world, too. Never has a visitor spoken of matters of such import. Tis as if you have been to this castle before. Lord De Rosso! Ah, you know me then. You must be... Yes, I see. And it seems there is much you already know. <laughs> yes. Yes, I see. I like I just laughs. Like, yeah, I know what's going on. Family portrait by Lord De Rosso. Little did he know of the approaching maelstrom. Such tragedy that we could not possibly fathom. Lord De Rosso's ordainment portrait. From the old faith to the orthodoxy. An era of great change that sealed Lord De Rosso's fate. The meaningless power struggle took place in this world as well, it appears. You know much. How uncanny. Almost disturbing. Which is perhaps ironic coming from me. I wonder if that's like a set thing. Like no matter how many worlds, this Lord always happens. <laughs> I see. My fate has already. So I like, you know how Doctor Who you have fixed moments in time that can't be changed. Lord De Rosso's ordainment portrait. Supposedly. <laughs> From the old faith to the orthodoxy, Lord De Rosso's fate was sealed upon his ordainment. Lord De Rosso's castle siege painting. This is where his never-ending struggle began. His never ending sorrow. So, you feel pity for me? Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. Lord De Rosso. The question is to what extent do you. No, let us leave that for another time. And I shall grant life everlasting. Though it shall be filled with grief, thou shalt have all eternity to wreak vengeance upon thine enemies. Mm. Who or what was talking to him and why? Even I know not. Just as. Oh, sorry about that. Except me. <laughs> ah, yes. Eternal grief and eternal vengeance. I'm sorry, my friends. I tried to hit the, uh, the auto button. And I hit this skip on my mistake. No, I was thinking, uh, I wonder if that voice was this Ouroboros figure. 
you know, the, 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 the dark evil one. Because it does say, hey, you know, accept me for eternal life, but then you'll have time to wreak havoc in sorrow. And it just seems to match. Either that or Aerie, but Aerie serves Orbos, so that's why I'm thinking. And I know they say Orbos differently in this game. I'm gonna say Orbos, because that's usually how I recognize it. Probably because of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, the <laughs> the Orbos symbol. I, I just know it as that, so anyway. Depicting Lord De Rosso's immortality. He was granted everlasting life. He can't ever die. Lord De Rosso's war landscape. The war that changed the very land we walk upon. I shudder when I think of the manner in which it was waged. <laughs> Care for a taste of my power? The power to fell mountains and tear the earth asunder. Lord De Rosso. Then again, you people might... Well, we would simply have to try it to find out what would happen. No. It must seem more aggressive here. Hmm. Lord De Rosso's war landscape. It's hard to imagine a war lasting 500 years. Lord de Rosso's portrait of the Archbishop. So Juliana was responsible for cutting off the Vestals and Temples from the corrupt Orthodoxy. But the description for this portrait only tells of the time he was hatching his plot. Precisely. The actual events therein shall be told in other paintings. Lord De Rosso. Or perhaps you have already. Yes, tis in the realm of possibility for those such as you. A portrait of the Archbishop. He looks just as he does today. Save for that elaborate attire. That's where have I missed this painting every single time I've been in the castle. I don't remember a painting here. I remember a painting behind Lord De Rosa. I don't remember this one. I mean, I don't think anyone's told me I missed this one. Could be mistaken, but. I don't remember this painting. Lord De Rosa's asterisk painting. There are asterisks in this world too. It seems the sage here in this world also wanted to reduce the orthodoxy's authority. Now maybe that's just my mistake. I've done this so many times I just didn't realize it, but I, I just don't know if I remember this one. I've always wondered what they were made of. They have such a warm, Glow. Truth be told, he never shared the secret of their making with me either. <laughs> really? He kept the secret from you too? <laughs> the next time we meet, I shall have him explain it to me. Juliana created asterisks to chip away at the Crystal Orthodoxy's authority. Is it me, but this painting here? That painting there almost looks like... Like gold. A treasure room of sorts. I don't really see an asterisk in there. Okay, well we have... We have a fight here that should be a breeze. Question is though, is it gonna be just De Rosa or is it gonna be more than De Rosa? I commend you for making it this far. The final painting lies beyond this throne. 
I shall reveal it to you if you defeat me in battle. You're referring to the angel painting. Precisely. You know much that has yet to happen, my friends. The last test is a test of strength. I shall only reveal the painting to those whom I deem worthy. One might also say that there is no need for those who are unworthy to lay their eyes upon it. But be forewarned, I am a formidable foe. I trust you are well prepared. Let's do battle. Hmm. And who might you Ah, ha ha, ha. we do have some other people. Hey, it look what it is. Honor to make your acquaintance, Archduke De Rosso. I am Victor S. Court of the Duchy's Council of Six. Ah, the child prodigy. I believe we've met once before, though you may not recall it. So, what brings the brilliant young scholar whose findings saw Eternia become a land of life everlasting here? Surely not the architecture. This castle was built in a fit of boredom and looks every bit the part. Just what is it you want, Mr. Court? I... The life I have dedicated my own to saving will soon be snuffed out. I have tried the latest in medical technology, pioneered by my father and my own research. A forbidden art, concealed by the orthodoxy. I transmuted the waves emanating from the earth crystal into healing energy. And yet... And yet... I even exhumed the vampire's crypt, buried deep beneath the head temple. Did you now? More than feel disappointed, I had to laugh at the crass handiwork I found within. The remains were a motley mix of bones so jumbled, I couldn't begin to say which beasts they were taken from. At the time, I dismissed the stories for a farce at the end of a senseless struggle for political power. But the paintings I saw while on the way up here have convinced me anew. Lord De Rosso, are you not privy to the secrets of true life everlasting? And if I were, what then, good doctor? I would humbly ask for a sample of that immortal body. Mm. Would you graft tissue grown from my flesh into her? Or perhaps create a new life altogether? I find you as frightening as you are pitiable. <laughs> unwilling to offer you a part of me to further your work but I would first have you show me the true depths of your despair do battle alongside me cast your life into the crucible nice it's only two this time but still it's it's different and I like that I I, I really really enjoy that so let's see if our tactic will work I may notice uh, T is coming down, uh, going up last, because I had the growth egg clipped on him when I was fighting the dragons. Did seem to matter. What is Soul of Temaza, Crystal Vest, ooh, a Mega Elixir. I like the Mega Elixirs. I am a man of my word. Behold, the final painting. Oh, we didn't get any... Wrong, oh, okay, there we go. You seem uninterested in viewing the next painting. But so be it. Here is what you sought. I doubt there has ever been a man who sought the secret of life so doggedly, while so dogged by despair. Consider this my gift to a man ever on the edge of hopelessness, whiling away his years in fruitless study from a man no less hopeless, victim to an eternity of years fruitlessly wild away. I am eternally grateful, my lord. So is Victoria going to become a vampire now? The nature of my immortality is, for lack of a better word, a cult. I know not what secrets your modern medicine can tease from this lock of hair, but you are welcome to try. Ah, 
one further thing. Should my gift prove the seed for some new life, I would ask you name the child Lilia. Huh? Lilia, my lord? Lilia de Rosso. It was my mother's name. Aww. It's a mom's boy. May your work prove fruitful, Victor. Now, will the rest of you join me at the final painting? And there's nothing against mom boys. I'm a mom boy. Love my mama. I think it's uh, the story I've told before is uh, my mom really loves penguins. And because she really loves penguins, I love penguins because every single time I see a penguin, I think of my mom. Uh, my mom's still alive. She's fine. She's doing well. But I know that when the day does come, hopefully many, many, many decades in the future, uh, I'll always have a part of her because all I have to do is look at a penguin. I think of my mom. Lord De Rosso's angel painting. It's as he said. She looks just like Agnes. You can say that again. Yes, they could be twins. Is there really such a resemblance? Did I speak thus in the previous world? Oh, Lord De Rosso. I don't recall if you truly said that. I seem to recall he did. At least I think. Well, no matter. The truth is, there is a striking resemblance. else the painting of the it all nope all right well um we got one more side quest to do and then uh pillar time well crystal time then pillar time so we're here at a tony and such a command and the reason i stopped here is because I i'm truly wondering what we're gonna find inside because we've already fought victor we've already fought victoria and in every other world it was victor and victoria who met us at the castle gates so yeah, I mean we still have the master. That's um that's missing in the equation, but I'm just really curious. So no one met us at the castle gates. And no one met us here. So do we need to go up and visit Brave? Uh, do we need to go up and go to Adia's room to see, uh, Altinus Dim? Uh, we're gonna have to hunt for this side quest. We may have to go into the prison. Maybe there's something there. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run around this place and try to find out where the, uh, the scenario is. You came. It was where Brave was, which was my first guess. At least, and that is assuming there's not any other side quests in this area. Anyway. And came a woman grown. You look nothing like the child I sent off to Keldisla. Father? You've flown far since leaving my side. Guided by beliefs that are entirely your own. Proud is the father who sees his daughter grow so. And yet... No. The time for such words is past. And there is one other who has disobeyed my orders. Show yourself, Altinus. Oh, is this gonna be a brave swordmaster and Altinus fight? Oh, that's cool. Lord Marshal. You insist on defending me despite my wishes. Are you my son or a thorn in my side? Your Lordship. Son? Yeah, that struck me about as odd too. I thought maybe he was like fully adopted this well, but no, that's the first time he said it. You need to ask. After all these years, help the boy, Adia. That's right. After all these years, I not thought such simple words could bring such joy. Thank you. Aww. Now, let us begin. My sacred sword, Altinus's blade of darkness. 
The contrast between black and white complements each other too well, my dear daughter. Nope, it's just Altinus and Brave. Alright, well that makes this easy. Oh, nope, 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 there he is. You seem to be enjoying yourselves. Master? Lobutsuna. It's been too long. Forgive my intrusion upon the family reunion. Might I join in the fun, Brave? <laughs> as you'd like. Your family as much as any other. You honor me. Well, Adia, may I? Yes, please, Master. <laughs> Lord Master Kami Izumi stands before you. I like how she's like, yeah, absolutely join us. That's cool. Alright, we got him on a turn he didn't counter us. That's good. I don't think he can counter because there's no one to counter because we're in the air. Yeah. That is a lot of stuff. Uh, Excalibur, Masamune, bunch of Genji, bunch of Crystal. It goes on, even more Genji. I would expect no less from my daughter. God, this is music. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm your and mother's daughter, Alternus's family and Master Kami Izumi's disciple. A sister disciple to Einheria and comrade of the Wind Vestal. I've learned so much from so many people. Their lessons have brought me so far. We've disagreed at times, even fought. But all those conflicting views are a part of me. They make me who I am. That's why... No, you need say no more. Walk upon your own path, child. Do that, and you shall. You'll find the way. I will, father. I promise. Lady Vestal, tis, and ring a bell. My son from another world. My son from another world, wow. I place my daughter and the fate of our world in your hands. You can count on us. Absolutely. Huh? Where have Master Kami Izumi and Alternus gone? The ninjas, they just vanished. Swordmaster! Where are you going? The way of the sword runs far and deep, as do the journeys on which it takes me. Please wait. I have a favor to ask of you. Will you hear it? I can ask for training? A favor? From you? Seeing your fearsome skill firsthand has shown me just how much I've yet to learn. Should an assassin of your caliber ever strike at the Lord Marshal, I would be powerless. I desire the strength to defend his lordship from any who would bring him harm. Please, Master Kami Izumi, remain here in this land. Show me the way of the sword, as only you can teach it. Aww. You're stronger than you think. A man defending what he holds dear is far more formidable than one who seeks to take it. You already have the strength you seek. If I came upon Brave with sword drawn, it would be a fierce fight with you at his side. Master. A sword to defend. Not to take. Never, ever forget that. If you'll excuse me. Farewell. Thank you, Swordmaster. Your words will be forever etched in my mind. So beautiful. I, I love the stories in this world. They're just so good. Okay, well, considering we're already here, why don't we head to El Last Tower and do that crystal first, and then we'll, then we'll double back around. Finding there's not any others. Well, even if there's another side quest, doing the uh, the crystal here is not gonna hurt this side quest.
because we would have to do at least what, two or three based on previous worlds for something else to happen. So I went to go to Everlast Tower and there was a blue mark on the, uh, the over map for this place here. And the first thing I did was check the Victor and Victoria room. There was nothing there. But down here in the prison, there is indeed something. It's Profiteer, Lord DeRose. I can't tell the other one. Is that Kata? Not a very... Why choose such an inhospitable place, oh? I shall catch my death of cold. Yeah, it's these three scoundrels. They deserve to be in the prison. <laughs> I completely agree. Who scheduled meetings down in a dungeon? Easy, gentlemen. I thought it fitting. It's where we all started, eh? Besides, you've hardly suffered for hitching yourselves to my wagon 15 years past. Chairman Profiteur, you've amassed a fortune selling the orthodoxy treasures you looted. And Dr. Kada, your repertoire of medicinal preparations took a sharp jump that day. Am I wrong? <laughs> well, no, I'll not deny that, but... Then let's not quibble over the venue. Hmm. Now, I ask something of you. Let's see it. What is this? Did you not call us here to discuss plans for the next caper? I considered it, sure. Security was lax at Orthodoxy headquarters, though. Nowadays, Eternian Central Command is ironed tight. It would take a lot more than cover of night to slip in and empty the treasury vault now. Ah, that big-headed Templar. Well, what is it we're here to see, then? A new weapon that will deliver the duchy into our hands. Oh? Yes, the one that the good Dr. Carter has been working quite hard on. Explain to the chairman how your little toy works. With pleasure. Now, this is an exceedingly simple explanation for you layman mind. This file holds a highly concentrated culture of a certain pathogen. All three of these guys are uh, horrible. Puzzle. What is it you say? It has quite the ominous ring to it. A pathogen created by the union of the common cold with venom extracted from a hell viper. And the vaccine. I trust it's made if you aim to use the stuff as a weapon. But of course, I have both a prophylactic and a cure at the ready. Excellent. I'll have that prophylactic now. My men will need it before we loose your creation on the duchy. Meanwhile, you two will start work on crafting large quantities of the cure outside Eternia. <laughs> Say no more. Then we sell it at a lovely premium through the black market, yes? No, this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a coup. I need the forces and their leaders dead. Then, the chairman returns with a miraculous and completely free cure. You'll be Eternia's savior. Me? The Duchess save you? Yes, I like this plan. <laughs> and you, Doctor would have your choice. The hero responsible for the wonder cure, or... Or the mad genius who created history's most diabolic weapon. <laughs> I was a fellow to the side. Can't wait to kick these guys' butts. Shh, someone's here. Is that not the Templar's daughter? Why has she come here? What if she heard us? Measures would have to be taken! And who would find her here in an abandoned dungeon deep underground? You're welcome. Uh, what? Time to muzzle the little pup! I was thinking the same thing. Uh, uh, what are you? Uh. I 
I feel no pity at all for these guys for what I'm about to do. These guys deserve every bit of this one. Every bit. And your stupid turntables isn't gonna work this time, De Rosa. Or De Rosso. Right, what do we get here? More crystal stuff. Nah, that's about it. What's wrong with you? Why would you suddenly attack us like that? <sighs> Considering the place and present company, I'd say they were up to no good. Absolutely. I agree. Ten to one, they're plotting one dark deed or another. Let's teach them a well-deserved lesson. <laughs> no, please! <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Let's go. Oh, they deserve every bit of that one. You, you, you're on the council. Help us. We were ambushed by the wind vestal. She finish the job. I follow reports of a disturbance, and what do I find? The three wanted men tidily behind bars. Wanted? Red Mage, Fiora de Rosa, Commander of the Blood Rose Legion, 3rd Division, Eternian Forces. The Orthodoxy swore them up as final charges, and many within your own ranks are backing them up. <laughs> your secret lab in Flora was searched top to bottom, and I've had the pleasure of reading your Red Report. Go suck an egg, de Rosa. <laughs> it's a real page turner, eh? Imbecile! You left written evidence of your crime? Inrutus Profiteur, Chairman of Camera and Profiteur Merchantry, Second Legion, Eternian Forces. Your charges come from Prime Minister Dominus Harina of Anchheim. Quite the list, that. The investigation of your offices should be underway as we speak. Sav Maker Kada of the Black Blades. I have a warrant for your arrest for disobeying orders, dereliction of duty, abuse of prisoners, and the manufacture of weapons of mass destruction. You three have ignored the Grand Marshal's orders and hatched your own schemes long enough. No, wait. Chairman Profiteur blackmailed me. I owe him a small fortune, and he. Oh, shut up. Ooh, me too. It's the truth. Have a look at these eyes. Do they seem capable of lying? Why, you. This is slander most foul. I'll not even dignify them with a response. I'll tell this, my friend. Could we not overlook these minor transgressions? Come now, name your prize. I love the voice acting. You three can entertain one another here until the Grand Marshal passes sentence. Don't expect leniency. All right. Cool, 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 cool. I think that may be the last of the, uh... Of the, the side quest. I mean, that one just appeared out of nowhere. So you never know. This one might appear out of nowhere. Let's check. Uh, I see nothing but orange. Okay, like I said, we'll head to Everlast Tower. We'll do that crystal first. And then I guess we'll just circle around. I mean, I do need to do the fire one and the water one. Before the wind one. Because there's a possibility that something may open up from those two. But otherwise, yeah. I, I think we can start here without any, uh, any problems at all. Crystal has also reverted. Wait, something lurks nearby. Another creature back from destruction. Here they come. Which one is this one? Oh, this one's the easy one. Just use a Luxor to kill it. But we don't need to waste the Luxor this time.
He's got a lot of HP though, if I remember correctly. Yeah, a lot of HP. Still going. There he goes. Now this time we do not want to destroy the crystal. Hurry up and awaken the crystal before we are beset by more beasts. Of course. I'm ready, Eri. I'm sure you have the hang of it. Yes, yes, I know. Time to get started, Agnes. Yes. I believe this is... Oh, wait. I was recommended not to do anything at all with the crystal. Just, like, do nothing to see if anything happens. And that's what happens. <laughs> you just get no volume. And nothing occurs. So, it looks like... It looks like if you do nothing, that's what happens. Nothing. Just, just literally nothing. Because surely by now, something would have happened, right? Someone has said, hey, what about this? What about that? Even though I've already done one, like, crack in the crystal, you know, the fact that I'm doing nothing right now and nothing's happening kind of shows that, you know, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. One more. Jeez. That's it. Stop. That's it. You did it. You awakened the crystal. Well done, Agnes. <sighs> Have you checked your bro, Jerry? Yes. The Earth Crest is lit. Phew. Good. Okay, I was about to say, no more to story. Are you okay, Agnes? Yes. I am used to it now. I need a short rest, but then we should head to the next temple. Okay. No one? Oh, okay. Rest of the way. Weird, the first sight awakening went off without a hitch. You seem to be getting quite used to this, Agnes. Well, practice makes perfect, does it not? And I have had lots of practice by now. But are you alright? You look so tired every time. I shall be fine, for I feel that I have finally begun to grasp the knack through this right. The knack, huh? If only we could say the same for those monsters that possess the crystals. I can't help thinking they're getting more powerful each time. You too, Ringabel. I was thinking the same thing. We bowed them again and again, learning the habits of tendencies, but each time it's more difficult than they asked. Glad it's not only me. Adia, how about you, Tiz? Shh. Looks like Anius is falling asleep. Haha, <laughs> you're right. Let's let her get a little sleep. Yeah, she needs some rest. Okay, off to the next crystal. Look! This crystal has also reverted. Wait, something lurks nearby. Another creature back from destruction. Here they come! Oh, this one. So maybe while I'm in the area, he'll automatically change. Or maybe not. There we go.
Ah, dang it. I really hate this boss. Any boss that can go immune. I know he's not immune. He takes one damage, but still, it's kind of immune. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. There we go. Squash that brain. That's a lot of experience. Dang. I think I had experience off on the last boss for some dumb reason. It's a shame. I saw some less grinding there. Yes, yes, of course, of course, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I'm ready, Aaron. I'm sure you have Yes, I know what I'm doing. Yes. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know, I know, I know. Let me do this. Keep going. Still not enough. You can do this. Stop. That's it. There we go. Two crystals down, two more to go. You did it! You awakened the crystal! Well done, Agnes! <sighs> Have you checked your bro, Jerry? Yes, the fire crest is lit! <sighs> Phew. Good. Are you okay, Agnes? Yes, I am used to it now. I need a short rest, but then we should head to the next temple. Okay. Time for a rest. Whoa. Are you alright, Agnes? Yes, I'm fine. Just a bit wary. I'm afraid it won't last much long if you could go on going like this. He's right. Perhaps you should pace yourself a bit. No, the crystals must be awakened with the utmost haste. For only then shall we dispel the ca darkness, close the great chasm, and render aid to tears. Agnes? But what harm would there be in getting a little rest? Huh? But we had to wake the crystals and enter the holy pillar before? You're right, idiot. Agnes' well-being is our chief concern right now. I'm worried about her too, you know? No, you're not. I mean, she's a vessel of the crystals on my crystal fairy, so of course I'm concerned. Harry, we're not just worried about onions right now. Now vessels or fairies or whatever. Now time to get to rest, okay? Tis. The leader speak. I suppose we must follow. Tis, a leader. When did that happen? <laughs> when does it matter? Are you opposed, Adia? Nah, I'm all up for it. Let's rest up. Look! This crystal has also reversed. And a monster's coming, right? Yep. Hey, it's Rasalka. This last two bosses should be pretty easy. Wow, we point on every hit, too. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, that could have been deadly, too. That was great. It's like in Pokemon when someone uses dig and the other one uses fly, or when you use fly and use dig, or whatever. It's it's like that. That was really really good. I'm ready, Ari. I'm sure you. Yes, I know. It's good the explanation. I got this. Let's mash.
We know, we know. Just a little longer. We know, we know, we know. We got this, we got this. That when I play the dark picture games by Supermass, I'm like, I hate mashing. You did it! You awakened the crystal. Well done, Agnes. <sighs> Have you checked your bro, Jerry? Yes, the water crest is lit. <sighs> Phew. Good. Are you okay, Agnes? Yes, I am used to it now. I need a short rest, but then we should head to the next temple. Okay. Actually, I do need a rest considering I just got hit by that water attack. Next time. Ooh, that's that. But I want to ask you some airy. What is? The fight was complete without a hitch, so? Yes, I know, but I was wondering. How many crystals must we awaken? How many times must we enter the holy pillar? And how many worlds must we cross into? It seems never ending. I've already lost count, to be honest. Oh, um, well. The last crystal we awakened was a 15th. Oh, someone's giving count. We've entered the holy pillar three times now. Since we first met, this marks the fourth world we crossed into. Oh, you people sure have good memories. It's simply a matter of counting. And believe me, next time will be the one that ended all. Yes, and Ari, I trust next time will be the one. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh huh. Uh huh. Stupid fairy. Alright, time to, uh. Time to see. If indeed there is anything new on the map. Because that was a fire crystal, that was a water crystal. Looking around, I see nothing. Yep, I see absolutely nothing. So this should be the last thing we have to do before we enter the Holy Pillar. No need to put any cuts here. This will only take a second. A little bit longer because we got to go around, but not much that longer. Yeah, I just got to run around here and boom, we're back in the crystal room. Look, this crystal has also... Wait, I'm not... And this one's gonna be the easiest fight ever because we've already won it once without the OP strat. And it seems like that guy has less HP. Probably because there's like two of them, I guess. All that EXP, it's beautiful. Yes, yes, awaken the crystal. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm ready, Air. I'm sure you have it. Time to get started. Yes. Let's go. Doing a whole job mash right now. Much better now. How to, how to get the flow there. Light. The holy pillar? It 
it must be. Let us head there again, Agnes. This time, we must ensure we seal the great chasm and cleanse evil from the world. Mm hmm Yes, I know. We cannot fail again. The fourth time. We've now awakened all four crystals in this world. That marks the 16th since we first began. And once again, the Holy Pillar must have appeared in the South Sea. The whole fourth Holy Pillar. Yes, and I hope this will be the last one. Right, Airy? Ah, uh, yes, of course. This time will be the one. I hope you're right. Uh, uh, just all the dots, exactly. Now, the only thing we need left to deal with, the problem, once we get back. Once we get back to Glenship? What, does she need a repair again? Yes, there's that, but that's and that's are hitting the repairs. And I couldn't be happier with the work so far. Then what problem are you talking about? The proprietress. You know, how to get her down to the hold when we enter the holy pillar. Ah, there is a problem, a very difficult one too. I remember the fight she made last time. Dad's ended up carrying, I'm mean, gonna pick her up and carry her down there. And just the other day, Dad's and Zats were debating something. I'm not sure what, but I wager it was about the princess. Oh, I wonder what the plan is. I can't wait to find out. Aha, well then, I suppose the proprietress is in good hands. That leaves us to head into the holy pillar. Oh, what are we waiting for? Let us go. Let's go. One last thing to do. That's into the holy pillar, and then we can say goodbye to this world and on to the next world. Oh boy. Let's go. Although, before we enter the holy pillar, let's check one last time. Let me uh, go full screen here. Or what big screen here? I do not see anything else on the map. We are clear to go. Well, there's gonna be any fights in here. Probably not, How many right? Times now have we seen this light? <sighs> Where are Dats and Zats? I had them take refuge in the hold. Good job. Okay, everyone. Don't forget to watch over me. This is going to work this time. You'll see. It's almost like, maybe that's what she's doing. I just realized what she's doing. She's absorbing the energies into a brooch. And every time we go through a cycle, the, the, she's empowering the brooch more and more and more. Until it gets to the point where she's obtained so much power, she cannot lose her evil overlord or a boss. I bet you anything that's what's going on here with this uh the holy pillars. Let's keep watch. What? We should watch over Aerie. Right. A world of echoes circle chapter number Eight. Good morning. Time to wake up. Come now, that's it. <gasps> the inn again. And the great chasm? The taint has yet to lift from the sea. If the view from here is any indication. So we've been to, um, let's see. Five worlds now, correct? Just what is happening to us, Aerie? Sorry, but I can't really explain it either. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, no point in trying to think through the unthinkable. 
We'll just have to go awaken the crystals here in this world, too. Yes. Yes, of course. Ahoy! Are we dreaming? I wonder if we aren't all in a dream right now. I mean, the great chasm is still open and the sea is back to the way it was before. How else would you explain it if I don't want the dream? But you don't normally... You don't normally know you're dreaming in the middle of a dream, right? At least when I dream, I don't realize until I wake up. Do you mean like a dreamlike state? Like a trance or such? Or do you mean actual dream? Idea, would you mind kissing me on the cheek? What? Why? Don't you think you can have your way just because this is a dream? <laughs> no, don't take a long way. I want to check whether this really is a dream or not. Now, I'll just close up my eyes while you pucker up and plant one right here. Youch! The pinch test is how you check whether you're dreaming or not. <laughs> alright, alright, this isn't a dream. Oh, I love this game. Long live the Glutton Queen. Ah, uh, Caldas and Seafood Cuisine is positively divine. Each one is a festival of freshness, so full, juicy and full of flavor. Oh, my mouth was up watering just thinking about it. It must be a nice to live in a port town. Adia, your appetite is beyond impressive. It's downright scary. Grilled Caldas and mackerel, buccaneer, marlin saute, tricolored crabs, you might and shell. Wow, it all sounds amazing. Stewed buckler, flounder, sweet salmon, sashimi, roast king tuna. Not only that, she said the gold cod stew I ordered looked delicious and eating ended up eating half of it. <laughs> she even ate the fried broad cutlass which I was unable to finish. How could you possibly eat that much and live? How does your stomach feel right now? Just a bit uncomfortable, haha. <laughs> I'm more worried about how my belly is sticking out. Well, you're a growing girl. You'll work it off as long as you stay active. Ah! Wait, what? What? I forgot about the gold squid. <laughs> I bet it's positively divine. Come on, let's hurry, hurry. I think she really means it. Haha. <laughs> Aww, I like said, I love this cast. I love this cast. I love this game. It's really, really great. Okay, let's check out this town. Then we'll head outside and we'll take a look at the world map. And then we will adjourn for the day. Uh, the Norengi Village Memorial. What's to say on this time? No one. No one survived. It's another world where everyone died. Second world in a row, right? It lies all the rende together in eternal rest. Let's head to the castle. Hey, the king's here. Welcome, travelers from afar. Welcome to the kingdom of Caldisla. I thank you. I am Anya Oblige, Vestal of Wind. Oh, the Wind Vestal? I am honored to make your acquaintance. But tell me, what brings a Vestal to this land? We come to learn more of the Great Chasm. Then you do us a great favor. But beware. Foul creatures, the hands of the duchy, and other dangers prowl the roads. Leave us our pretty journey is both successful and safe. Hmm, child is welcome. I'm Owen, Captain of the Guard here. Alright, so I don't see anything else that's to ha be had. So all I just have to do is step outside and see what the world map looks like now. See how many blue marks there are, where everything is. That's all the fresh fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not a lot of blue on the map this time. 
And all the blue is in one area, too. Like, yeah, the Caldissa region, one, Florum, Anchime, uh, Heartschild, and Eternia. So it's all based on regions. So this does look like it's different than before. Of course, you still have the four gold. All right, my friends. Well, my name is Flat Spider. This is your Stormy's Gaming Channel, and this is our continued blind let's play. Bravely Default HD, the offline mod for the PC. Much love to you all. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.